What's up guys, I'm Joey from awesomecameras.com and this is a little video I've been wanting to make for a while, I just didn't have the right equipment to make it. Um, it's just something I've been wanting to do in general. Uh, I've been wanting to make a video on Super 8 or with Super 8, um, not necessarily about Super 8 in general, but I've been wanting to shoot surfing with a Super 8 camera and actually be out in the water surfing. So I've come up, I've drawn up a bunch of ideas how to build a housing for a Super 8 camera um, and just hadn't got around to building one. And then I was out thrifting one day and I found this. And what this is, is actually an underwater housing, but it's meant for an old VHS camcorder. So it's about the right size of what I needed and it was uh, pretty much already built for me. So I didn't have to do too much modification. Basically this is just a plexiglass tube with a big rubber cap on the back and hose clamps to hold it in. And then a tripod mount on a plastic plate that holds the camera. And then when I got it, this had basically a button that just poked the, would poke the back of the um, camcorder to hit the record button and then you would hit it again to stop and you basically just press in the back of this rubber backing and you could trigger that. So that got me thinking that I could do the same thing and use a cable release and just find a Super 8 camera that takes a cable release and be able to shoot Super 8 in this housing. So basically this thing was like 99% complete. Um, this just had a little, another little plastic thing on here. I just rigged up a little piece of wood, drilled a hole in it, got my cable release. I found a camera that was nice and small. This is a Canon Zoom 318. Um, just a basic little Super 8 camera. And a couple cool things about this. One is the handle completely comes off and just makes it that much smaller. Just screws on here, just like that. Attach the cable release and now when you press this button, you can hear the camera running. That then just very simply slides into the housing like this. You put your cap back on. And all you have to do is press in on the back of this rubber housing right here. As long as I've got a good grip on it here and I can push in with my thumb right here, I can shoot Super 8 in the water and I can just take this out surfing with me. So we met up with our friend Stephanie Schechter, um, asked her if she wanted some surf footage and what surfer doesn't want footage of themselves surfing, right? Um, so we just went out with her and shot some surf, a little bit of skateboarding afterwards and made a little um, Super 8 film with her. So I got a couple rolls of Tri-X black and white film from Pro 8 millimeter in Burbank, California. Um, I'm also I also sent all my developing to them, and they did the developing and the scan. Uh, if you are interested in shooting Super 8 film, uh, be sure to check them out. It's just Pro 8 millimeter.com. So here we go. I'm going to show you now the behind the scenes of um, shooting that day with Stephanie and uh, had Derek there with me filming. So thanks a lot, Derek. You the man. Let's go.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was the behind the scenes of making this video. If you want to check out the full eight millimeter edit, uh, I'm gonna put that in the uh, description down below. That'll be hitting my YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload them at the same exact time. So if you're seeing this, check out the other video. It's up right before, right after this one on my channel. Also, I'll put a link to Pro 8 Millimeter down below, a link to my website with just links where you can buy the film and all, all that fun stuff. After just shooting these two rolls on the Super 8, I have so many more ideas for Super 8 in general, but specifically for this housing, I got a few tweaks I wanna do to it. Um, you'll notice some water spots in the, in the film. This actually leaked. Um, the housing here in the front glass leaked, so there was actually water spots on the inside. So I couldn't even do the old spit trick where you spit on the glass and rub it around um, to get those water spots to go away. The, the water was actually inside the housing, so I had to be really careful while we were out there. Um, I did notice that while we were surfing. And a huge shout out to Kodak. Um, I know a lot of companies have been discontinuing a lot of different types of film, um, but it is very cool that Kodak has constantly been producing Super 8 film, and they're even bringing back Ektachrome, which has been discontinued for quite a number of years. Uh, it really gives us photographers faith in the company that you guys are actually, you hear us, and you know we actually like shooting this stuff still, and more people are getting into it, and more people will get into it if there's new cool stuff coming out in the future. All right, guys, if you dig these videos we're putting out, consider subscribing. You'll get updated right when they go up. You'll get a little notification. It'll tell you, hey, Awesome Cameras put up a new video and you can go watch it. I don't see why you wouldn't want that, because we're awesome. Uh, also, if you dug this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Um, we are definitely gonna be shooting more Super 8 on this channel very soon. Um, why don't you leave in the comments below what you think we should shoot on Super 8? Is there anything we've shot in the past that you'd wanna see us go shoot that on Super 8? Or just anything in general, really. Um, we're down for whatever, so. Leave that in the comments below and let us know. And to stay up to date on all things Awesome Cameras, you can just find us at awesomecameras.com. Pretty cool, huh?